not your average office commute, but all in a day's work for this PhD student. Crawling 10 metres down a small tunnel to a hidden chamber, kneeling for hours, carefully extracting layer upon layer of ancient earth and bone. So here we have some clay and we can see that in this clay section we actually have a couple of bones. So this is a vertebrae and this is a rib. The new excavation is one of several active digs at the World Heritage listed Narracourt Cave site, famous for discoveries of megafauna fossils. I often say a joke that we can, 10 scientists can work out of a teaspoon of sediment now. We can learn so much more, so we don't excavate as much, but when we do excavate a new site, it's for a very good reason. Researchers hope the first paleontological dig in Alexandra Cave will reveal a missing piece of the history puzzle. So we're hoping that we actually do cover a different time span that hasn't been looked at before in this, this cave, which is about sort of 100,000 to maybe 200,000 year bracket. We will get some age dates done in the hole and in the sequence to really try and define how old these sediments are. And then we can look at how the fauna have changed through time. So this will help us with the conservation of animals today. Here in the lower chamber, I'm more than 15 metres underground. Behind me, there's an opening to a network of tunnels. Only about a dozen people were known to have crawled into this space before research began here about a month ago. Removing all of the material gathered for analysis is a challenge. I'm bringing out big bags of sediment that are full of bones, so I have to be careful when I'm actually hauling it out of the hole to make sure I'm not breaking any bones. Shining a light on the ancient past, one bag at a time. Isadora Bogle, ABC News, Narracourt.